Well, over the last year, I've had some problems that I've had to overcome. I like to look at them as obstacles, and I feel it's good to learn from your mistakes, perhaps, if you want to call them that, or problems. And I think a lot of the personal emotion came into the music this time around more than ever. I felt I was going against a lot of odds due to the fact that there was very negative press and a lot of people literally trying to drag my name as a person and as a band through the mud. And I feel like I'm back on top of things and I feel I've bettered myself through what I had to do. And I feel the album definitely conveys a, a certain message. Um, I'd like to think that this is a whole new star for death with a new record and hopefully a new outlet people have on me and the band in general. And, uh, you know, I'm happy that we finally have a video. I think videos are important for people to see the visual aspect of, of a person rather than just hearing it on, on an album. So I'd like to think this is hopefully the start of, of something, you know, that's going to happen again. I would like to do another one, definitely. I lost my previous lineup. I went directly to Friends who I've known for years, uh, being Paul Masvidal and a guy named Sean Reinert from a band called Cynic out of Florida. And I also made a phone call to another friend of mine out in California from a band called Sadus, a friend of mine, Steve. And it was just the logical choice. You know, these are people I trusted and that didn't lose faith in me as a person. You know, they, they didn't judge me while it seemed like the rest of the world was. <clears throat> So it, they were luckily highly professional in what they do also. So it was a great combination of friends and top-notch musicians. And I felt that they could definitely enhance the, the sound of death. I think that's exactly what happened. I consider the name to je definitely be just a name. You know, when I chose it, like about eight years ago or whatever, I... I wanted a name to describe the music, an extreme name for extreme music, and it's just a name to me. I'm a very positive person towards life, towards friendship, towards love, towards, you know, all certain things that, that we're made up as, as being human. So definitely, um, it's a drastic name, and definitely I think people look at you a certain way, you know, and it's... Is something I guess I just have to tell people about, you know, so they realize that I'm not satanic because I'm in a band called Death and I'm not a, a violent person or anything. You know, I'm just a person who has a name of a band and is I'm trying to just make everything fit together. You know, it wouldn't work having a band called uh, Pink Flowers, you know, <laughs> it just definitely would contradict what the sound we're creating is. Reality is far more brutal than a demon, uh, you know, tearing someone's heart out. You know, that just does not happen in life. I see no demons around me. I see, I think, if there's evil, it's people. You know, there, there's cruel people out there. Uh, evil is real on earth, you know what I'm saying? And, and there's things to write about in life that I think people can relate to. I'd rather put an album out that someone can read a song and say, wow, yeah, I kind of think about that once in a while, or, yeah, I feel that same way, or maybe not even feel the same way, but share the interest in the topic. Death will always remain a growing band, because I think there's definitely too much of a limit being put on death metal right now, with uh, this big rise in satanic stuff, and, and just brutal lyrics for the sake of being brutal, rather than putting some thought into and trying to conquer what people already think of heavy metal and, and death metal or hard rock in general. So I feel like uh, I won't put a, a limit on this and I want to keep continuing grow, to grow as a musician and as a person in life and to try to put into the music what I learn, so to speak. Compel, we sell, we